Hello everyone, I am Amod and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about a new API client tool called Bruno. So let's start with basics. What is an API? So API stands for Application Programming Interface and it is a way for two software systems to communicate with each other like a messenger between applications. I don't want to give any kitchen and waiter example here. Let's understand with a real time scenario which you have must experienced. So I hope you must have done a payment using POS which is point of sale machine. So when we tap a card then what happens actually? Your transaction will be approved or declined. What do you think? How it is done? So what happens when we tap our card or insert the card into the machine then that machine will read your card number. Then this POS vendor will initiate an API call to the associated bank. Suppose you are using a credit card of Citibank. Then a call will be made to Citibank just to confirm if the transaction is authorized or you have enough balance. So bank will do all the processes internally and then they will return the response saying that if the payment is authorized or declined. If you don't have proper balance or sufficient balance then obviously your payment will be declined. So you can see POS which is one system communicated with another system which is bank here using API. You need to understand one point here is that it is not required to have two different systems always like POS is one distinct system and your bank is one different application. API can be used for any communication between systems. For example, when POS made a call to bank, so bank will call multiple internal APIs to perform various checks, maybe fraud check or the balance or any restrictions on account. If everything is satisfied, then only bank will approve your transaction. So you can see how much API is important to communicate with or within systems. Now we understand what is an API. Let's understand what is an API client. So suppose you are a developer and you are developing an API. So obviously you need to test that API. Basically you need a way so that you can send the request to the server and you can see the response so that you can check whether API is working as expected or not. If you are a tester then also you need to test the API with different set of data. And all these things we can perform using an API client. We have a very famous API client called Postman and I hope you must have used it. So I have already used multiple API clients and I did not find any client better than Postman. But recently I used Bruno and I can say that it is really better than Postman. At least it is very smart in the way it has overcome the limitations of Postman. So if you have used Postman then you will not find any difficulties in usage of Bruno. It is very much similar but you have many added advantages. Let's understand more about this new API client called Bruno. So this is the official website of Bruno and it says reinventing the API client and I can say they are really doing it. Then it says Bruno is a Git integrated, fully offline and open source API client. And if you have used Postman, then you must be knowing or experienced that all these three points are missing in Postman, at least up to a good extent. So further it says developer first, that means it is a open source community and extensibility are our cornerstones. We are proud to be an API client and commit to not bloating our product with unnecessary platform features. This is a really strong statement. Then native Git integration. So with Bruno you can use any Git provider which is a really great feature 
with Bruno compared to Postman. And third feature is that it is offline. That means you don't need to sync your data to any cloud as we need to do in Postman. They have given one link where they are comparing Bruno with Postman. Let's go to that document. So the first point here is how collections are saved in Postman and Bruno. So basically in Postman you need to sync or upload your collections in cloud. And for that you need to use a paid version. But which is not the case with Bruno. If you scroll down, the second point is where collections are saved. So as I said, in Postman, your collections will be saved in the cloud. And it will have everything like request, response, variables, tokens, etc. But in Bruno, your collections will be saved in your file system, which is more secure. Online versus offline. So in Postman, you have to create an account which is not needed in Bruno. And I think now in Postman, you have to create an account to use many of their features. Another strong comparison here using team collaboration, which is which requires a paid version in Postman, but nothing in Bruno. It is free. The next point is how API requests are made. So basically in Postman, they have a proprietary proxy server and we need to use their proxy so that we can make the API request and receive the response. But there is no any intermediate server or proxy for Bruno. So which is again making Bruno secure. The next point here is how many times we can run collections in Postman and Bruno. So in Bruno it's free but in Postman, I think after 25, you need to pay for it. Another point, loading NPM module. So in Postman, we have some workaround. We need to write some scripts so that we can load NPM modules if you want to write complex logic or assertions. But in Bruno, we have simple package.json which will make your life easy. And also, if you want to write any scripting or assertion, then in Bruno, it is simpler than Postman. Anyway, these things you will understand when I will cover these concepts in upcoming videos. But as of now, you can clearly see we have some major advantages of Bruno over Postman. But I am not going to say that Bruno might replace Postman completely because we don't know the future. But Postman is trustworthy. And it has been used from a long time in industries. And Bruno is a new tool and it tries to solve all the disadvantages or problems with Postman. So it is good to export this tool. And in this playlist, I will cover each and every concepts of Bruno. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and Share with others. Thank you, everyone.